Hey gang, Dave Seaman here coming to you from Innisfree Golf Club in Avondale, Pennsylvania. You know, we're getting into like the end of June, almost Independence Day and 4th of July and we're pretty much into everybody's golf season. So hopefully you're playing well and been around the country lately and, and doing some golf schools. And one of the things that I always get is, Dave, how do we start the backswing and, and kind of where do we go with it? And with the vertical golf swing and the, the swing that's as easy as one, two, three, we got to remember a couple things. We, we do want to swing the golf club vertical. And one of the questions I always get at, at golf schools is, okay, where do we want to take it out here? Do we want to take it in here? Where do we want to go? Well, I've gone all over the country seeing uh, vertical swingers, and one of the things that I always see is that we get almost to a point where we don't turn at all. And the thing about this golf swing that you, you got to remember is we get coiled very, very early in the backswing. Now, what do I mean by coil? Well, coiling is if I take the top of my upper or my upper body and I don't do a whole lot with my lower body and I go like right to here and all of a sudden my voice, is, my voice changes. Well, that's coiling. That's what we want to do. Now, the problem with the rotary swing is most people want to turn too much and they get here and they turn their whole body and you'll notice that my voice doesn't change. Well, it doesn't change because I'm not coiling. Now, the key to success is if we can coil the body, it wants to uncoil. Now, we may not be turning our shoulders 90 degrees and I don't really want you to, but I want you to be able to turn the upper body against a, a pretty restricted lower body in the backswing. This gives us not only a three-quarter limited turn swing on the backswing, but it also coils our body up. So a lot of times when I'm, I'm seeing our students, you know, when I go around the country and I'm looking at past students, the thing that I always notice is that they just kind of lift their arms up. Now, if I lift my arms up, you're going to see how my hands go outside the line or my toe line, and I'm not getting coiled. You see, my voice doesn't change. And this is a good little test. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stick, and you can all see it's a yellow stick. I got it on my toe line. And what I want everybody to work on is to take their, once you've set up, is to take the golf club to your toe line by turning, okay? Now, I turned to my toe line, then I lift my arms, and the golf club will go vertical. So we've got to go in to go up. Now, a good way to practice this, if I had a wall right up against my rear end, what I would try to do is go to the wall or go to my toe line and then lift the arms up. If you do that, you're going to be a perfect vertical swinger. The problem is most people go this way. They go out and over. Now, if there was a wall back here, you can see I'd hit the wall right about here. So we don't want to go out and over, we want to go in and up. And you'll notice that when I get to my, we'll call this halfway, or we'll call this hip height and parallel to my toe line, the toe of the golf club is pointing more up. So what I want you to do is do these drills. Go to your toe line and you'll see my voice changes. That's as much as ro rotation as we need. Then lift the arms. Once we've done that, we're in a perfect position to really fire. So, Dave Seaman's telling you, work on this a little bit. I think you'll see a big difference. But don't get in the habit of just lifting the arms up outside. You'll, you'll always have kind of an inside pass. So, work on this. I think you'll see a big difference. From Dave Seaman, take care.